Hey there guys, this is Flamzeronic, a YouTube's Tosuke. I've been playing that game, Demon Souls. I got it for Christmas, and, uh, you know, I figured I'd give my thoughts on it since I've been doing that lately. I did the same thing with Airtone Lico, and I'll... And I will probably do the same thing with some other games. But, uh... Yeah, so, let's get this started. This game... I mean... And a lot of you people are probably, uh thinking, oh, he probably, pl so he plays this game, that probably means that uh, he's probably going to hate on it or something. Well, no, I'm not going to, even though it is pretty hard, it's, it's not the hardest game in the world, and even, it's not even that hard, it, there, there are just some parts of it that are hard, and uh, even then, there are like little messages that players can leave, uh, that like warm, up uh, the the beginner players about that kind of about that kind of blah, 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 about this sort of thing uh you know the game it is hard some parts of it are hard but it's not really that hard i'd kind of consider it like a uh i'd i'd like i'd consider it on like ninja gaiden on easy mode or something where like the enemies will kill you if you just stand, stand there and the enemies that are tougher no, will kill you even if you're, even if you're guarding if you play carelessly. But uh, if you level up your guy enough, and if you, you know, get a bunch of healing items and good equipment, you'll be fine. Like uh, my guy, right now he's so strong that like he can kill enemies in the first level with one hit, and the tough enemies he can kill them with two hits. But, uh, that's not to say that the game is not hard. I mean, I still die from those two hit, two hit enemies sometimes if I'm careless. Um, basically the story of this game, you know, you're in, the game starts off of in the kingdom of Boletari Boletaria, and, uh, you know, it's a nice place, but then one day the king comes back, leaves, and then comes back with this demon, which ends up like, you know, taking over the entire kingdom and summons this big deep fog, which explains why the game looks so grimy and dark. Um, and it corrupts everybody, and demons take over, and then there are a lot of soul starving people, meaning that they're like, they want your soul and they want to eat you and whatnot. Like in the first level, some of the first enemies you fight are like these, what look like homeless zombies. Um,. And, uh, you know, in the beginning you start off, you you make your character, you get to name him, you don't get to have, you don't have to choose a voice or anything, but that's because your guy doesn't talk at all. And I mean, at all. No battle grunts, no, uh, 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 no, uh, 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 kind of stuff, you know, no bat, no grunts at all. <coughs> the guy doesn't make a sound. Um, and so, uh, you just tailor your character, you can like choose their hairstyle, configure their face, you know, the basic stuff, and then you have to choose like a starting class, which isn't necessarily the class you'll end up with, because you can use any weapon. Armor, you have, the class is kind of set up for that, like I chose a knight, and I can only choose like armor kind of stuff, and my guy uses a sword and shield, but what I think is cool is that even when, even if there's a equipment that's too powerful for you, you can still use it. It just slows you down or it like messes up your fatigue or something like that. And I also think it's cool that you can switch from using one hand or two hands with any weapon. Like I, you can use a long sword with two hands if you want. Or you could use like a, a knife with two hands if you wanted to. And uh, you can upgrade your weapons but like anyway, you're in like the starting level. You make your guy. You walk around. You go into this little tunnel thing, and uh, the point of uh, this thing is to not only teach you how to play the game, but also to kill you. You get to an enemy, and if you and you'll automatically die. And I heard that. Uh, I heard that uh, after you uh, finish the game, or and like you import your guy over or something, or for whatever reason you're able to survive and 
beat that evil creature that's supposed to kill you, uh, you'll be able to move on, move on a little bit more. But when you get to like a, but then like the main main boss shows up really early and then kills you, you're supposed to die. In the beginning, you're actually supposed to die, and then you go to this place called the Nexus, which is where like all these dead people are, and you have to get your uh, soul back. And so you go to like the uh, the uh, kingdom of Boletaria, like its castle, and you go there and you have to fight this giant squid thing. I mean, granted, it took me like like friggin' two days to figure out where to go. There are a lot of like hidden passageways in this one, <coughs> and there's also uh, two places that are not for beginners. Like, there's this one part where you go up to, like, this place where all these arches are, and you can, like, go either left or right. <coughs> and, and you know, right, there are, like, some easier enemies. And to your left, there's, there's like, one strong enemy. I consider them, like, a, a two or three hits kind of enemy. You kill them, you get a bunch of souls, which are also the cur the currency of this game. And, uh, you know, if you go all the way to the right, you'll find a really hard enemy that'll probably kill you. I haven't tried fighting him now with my guy. But, uh, yeah, so there are some parts that are hard in the game, but for the most part, the game is fairly easy, or at least for the first level. When you move on to the next levels, it actually does get kind of hard. I'd recommend going to the, uh, after you finish the first level, I'd recommend going to, like, I don't even know, the, uh, you know, somewhere else. And, uh, anyway... Once you get your life back, your HP goes up all the way because when you die, your HP gets cut down to half. If you're neutral, then it gets cut down even further if you're evil, but then it doesn't get cut down as much as if you're, if you're good. And uh, there are several ways you can regain your life because you're probably going to die a lot. That's not an understatement. You will die a lot. And you will have to either kill a boss... Uh, uh, go into go into another player's game with them because you can get summoned as a phantom and uh, kill a boss with them, or they'll heal you, or you can invade their game and you can kill them, or you get this stone thing that heals you. Which once you get past the first boss, you can find three of them and like the nexus. But after you use them up, you have to go to like the uh, one of these this level where it's like a big swamp place, and you have to like spend like an hour trying to find this one shopkeeper. Then you have to spend friggin' uh like three hundred souls, like three thousand souls to buy one of the eye things, and I had to do that because I used up all three of mine. I just wanted to find some armor anyway. So uh, <clears throat> let's talk about the currency and like I'm sure you guys have heard that like you will lose progress in this game. And that's a little bit of an exaggeration, because you don't really lose your equipment or anything. You just lose your souls. Souls are like currency. So, uh, imagine if, like, the Tales series or in Final Fantasy or, like, in any RPG, if you lose a fight, you lose all your money. Which isn't necessarily that mu that big a deal, because you can get, like, a lot of uh, souls or money from battles. and So, that's not a big deal. So, you don't lose your progress per se you just lose your souls and so that's the only downside and you have to be really careful to like to not die because if you wrap up get up a lot of souls and you die and you're saving up for something that's a problem so what I normally do is I always have my shield up because my guys I'm a sword and shield kind of character but uh yeah so that's what I think about the game. Basic. That's basically all I can say about it. Not any, not real. In conclusion, it is kind of hard. Is it the hardest game ever? No. Is it a good game? Yes. Uh, I I think it's worth playing. If you're into uh, darker RPGs or RPGs with online play or online play or medieval stuff or games that remind you of Soul Calibur, then pick this game up, or at least rent it from Gamefly or something. Alright, this is Flamesaronic, a YouTube Sasuke signing out. See you later.